This is Sheffield Live. It's a radio station. You're listening to it at 93.2 FM. And this show is Communities Live with... Susie Castle. And with me, Andrew Tildesley. And joining us on the phone is... Richard Elson. Hello. Hi. Hello. Sorry, I just... Um, the, the headphones were on the wrong head there. <laughs> then they're on Susie's. Yeah. Off you go, Susie. <laughs> Hi, Richard. So, you're a filmmaker. We are wondering how you first became interested in making films. Uh, I always struggle to remember when I first became interested, because I was quite young, I think when I started when I was very young, um, I think I always wanted to do stories, so whether it was writing stories or art or anything like that, and I guess as soon as, just as soon as I could get a camera, then I was liking doing photography, and then moving on to films as soon as I discovered camcorders and so on, so um, pretty early on, I think. Yeah, oh, great. So you won an award recently at DocFest in Sheffield. Uh, with a short yes. film called 78 Breaths. Yes. Can you tell right, us yes. how you came to make that film? Uh, well, it was a competition. It was um, Ari, who make film cameras. Uh, mm-hmm. They partnered up with Sheffield Dockfest, and they did an initiative where they, they called out and they asked for people to submit treatments of a, a proposal for a film, and they picked five of those as finalists, and we all had to make a film over the weekend, the first weekend of Sheffield Dockfest, and it got voted for, all the five films got voted for at the awards ceremony at the end. But we, um, yeah, we just, it was a competition that came along, and I thought I'd love to be a part of uh, Dockfest and come out to see Sheffield. I've not been to Sheffield in years, and um, I've never been to the documentary festival. Um, so, yeah, it was brilliant. I wasn't expecting to be a finalist, because I'd actually mm. entered and um, been a finalist at Ari's previous competition just a couple of months ago so I wasn't expecting to be picked twice but um, mm. got lucky. Yeah, congratulations. So the title is 78 Breaths, how did the title come about? Well it was uh, the brief for the films was to do something that highlighted Sheffield as a green city and so when I was thinking about that I didn't want to do just film trees and um, interview people, I was trying to think of what we get from trees so that's where the, the breathing came along um, I mean, it was originally called 78 Ways to Inhale, but that was, we, in the end, we went for a simpler title, thinking it was more effective just to say, you know, 78 breaths. Uh, and the number came about because I was trying to think of, I knew I wanted to film lots of people breathing, film lots of different types of breathing in and out. And so I was looking for something that would fill a couple of minutes. And there were a few statistics I found. I think there's um, trees out number people four to one um but i didn't want to do something with just four breathe that breaths in and there was uh several i can't remember how many pe- millions of trees there are now but there's a huge amount and obviously couldn't have filmed that then came across the statistic that there's 78 parks and that kind of seemed like a good number to latch on to and make the point yeah great so it must have been quite hectic making the film within such a short yeah. time yes it was mm-hmm. we had uh, i mean it was a Brilliant! It was a brilliant experience. We just uh, there's myself and Satish O'Shea, the uh, producer. We were um, just driving around. We had uh, Matt Gray was editing. He was staying where we were stayed in a Airbnb while we were up in Sheffield, and he basically stayed and worked through the night while we went running around filming. And it was, uh, I think it was. We probably would have been slightly less hectic if it hadn't been for the one way system, which uh, we came a cropper against quite a few times. But um, yeah, it was definitely it was good fun. Yeah, because you involved lots of people in Sheffield. Yes, I mean, we'd not, I'd not known anyone that was still living there before. Um, and then over the course, we got to meet, uh, well, I guess it's probably hundreds of people. It was probably, I think, because we filmed 140, mm-hmm. including yourself. Um, <laughs> and uh, But yeah, we, did, we started off um, and we did a kind of shout out on Twitter and Facebook. And then we shortly came out. Um, came into contact with Rob Speranza and the South Yorkshire Filmmakers Network, and they were very active. So they started sharing our posts and tagging people and saying, have you heard about this? And then we did some research into kind of specifics as well. We knew we wanted to find, um, we're doing scuba diving and this kind of thing. So we, we did a combination of, sort of web research and then um, just social media shout outs. But from there, it, it really blossomed. got loads of people involved. Mm-hmm. And a few, I mean, actually a few just on the day as well with, run up people in the street and say your child's there can we can we give them some bubble mixture and can they bubbles and it was um a few people that way yeah yeah and it's a lovely snapshot isn't it 
people in Sheffield of all sorts of ages, you know, and doing well, the, all sorts of things, aren't they? We wanted to get, that was a big thing from the beginning, was we didn't want to get just the same people. So, um, I mean, quite often if you do something, I mean, particularly if I do something that's, uh, you know, close to where I live, then you can get people that are in your own kind of sphere. So we just wanted to make sure we reached out and got a good, you know, diverse section of people that, you know, you felt were all... All, all of Sheffield was there because the whole point is it's about the whole city so hopefully as much as possible we've got a good spread of kind of age, gender, ethnicity and all this so we could you know a real nice mix of Sheffield people. Yeah, brilliant. So what are you working on at the moment? Uh, at the moment we've got what we're doing uh, there's a follow-up that we want to do not about breathing but we uh, everyone involved agreed that we'd like to use the prize to continue and try and do another documentary so we're just working on that at the moment and then um, there's actually in a completely different um, side of things there's a horror tv series that a few of us have been working on for a while and um, we're just gearing up to we're in development with that so um, and two theatre plays actually two plays that will be going on next year in London so uh, yeah quite a few things great so as a filmmaker, what do you think are the main challenges that you're facing? Um, well, I suppose in terms of what we make, probably the biggest challenge is always to push yourself to be bold and to encourage other people to be bold too. Um, I think that's often where you get bad compromises. I think, I mean, you always, I think with any film, you're going to get some level of compromise because. You know, you're creating a world, um, particularly in drama, and you're, you're sometimes creating it from scratch, and there's obviously all sorts of practical things that come in and you need to compromise with. But um, I think you need to be careful of compromises that are made for the wrong reasons. If they're made just because of assumptions or people being fearful or um, not convinced, then that's the kind of compromises you want to avoid. And that's, that's generally where I've found you know anything I've been proudest of is something that has a strong idea and a bold idea and that continues through and where the idea gets watered down or something falls in between two ideas that's generally where they fail as a film mm -hmm. yeah and what do you enjoy most about being a filmmaker I think meeting all the people is probably the best it's I mean it, you know just all the experiences all the stories you you find because I mean you know, just looking at this one and I mean geez I've, like I said we were, we were up in Sheffield a couple of times looking around for it but all of a sudden I've gone from not knowing anyone in Sheffield to knowing hundreds of people hearing all these stories seeing their homes where they live what they get up to it opens you up and I think the same with with any film you know whether it be fiction or fact um, you just you just come against all these stories and you, you just learn things about people in the world that and that's you know it's it's always fascinating so that's yeah that's what i enjoy the most yeah brilliant so where can we see 78 breaths it's uh the best place is on my website it's uh com slash 78 breaths um but it's on vimeo and we'll be putting it on youtube and stuff as well kind of circulating it about um but yeah that's where its life is at the moment Great, lovely. Oh, well, I really enjoyed the film. Good luck with it. <laughs>